Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 13th. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Negotiators at the U.N. Climate Conference in Dubai say they've reached a final agreement. They claim it marks the beginning of the end of the fossil fuel era. But as NPR's Nathan Rott reports, not all of the nearly 200 countries present are happy with the outcome. Climate activists and representatives from some of the world's most vulnerable countries, those that have contributed the least to global warming, have been calling for this summit to result in a strong global commitment to ending the use of climate warming fossil fuels. Simon Steele, the executive secretary of U.N. Climate Change, acknowledged that was not fully accomplished after angry comments by the island nation of Samoa. The fact they received the longest standing applause is a clear indication these views are widely shared. Stronger ambition and follow through, he says, are needed to avert more human suffering. Nathan Rod, NPR News, Dubai. Ukrainian President Zelensky was back on Capitol Hill yesterday urging lawmakers to approve more money for his war against Russia. But NPR's Deirdre Walsh reports Republicans insist the aid must be paired with U.S. border security. President Zelensky met with senators from both parties and House Speaker Mike Johnson. GOP lawmakers say any new money must be tied to policy changes to address the significant uptick in migrants entering the U.S. illegally at the southwest border. Connecticut Democrat Chris Murphy is leading bipartisan talks on immigration reforms. He warns what's at stake if Congress doesn't approve the money for Ukraine. If we don't stand by Ukraine, we give a green light for Vladimir Putin to march into Ukraine and perhaps through into Europe. With both chambers scheduled to head home at the end of the week, it's unlikely the funding bill will pass before the end of the year. Deirdre Walsh, NPR News, the Capitol. House Republicans are pushing for a vote as soon as today to open an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. They say they're investigating alleged corruption but have never provided any direct evidence. Separately, the president's son, Hunter Biden, has been subpoenaed by a House panel and is scheduled to appear today behind closed doors. He has said he would only testify publicly. That has been rejected by Republican committee members. The Arizona Supreme Court is weighing contradictory laws on abortion. One law would ban the procedure after 15 weeks. Another law, dating back to the Civil War, would outlaw abortions entirely. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays says that if that stringent law is upheld, she won't prioritize using it to prosecute Arizona doctors. I can't fathom a situation in which um, our Supreme Court wants to take us back to to 1864, but we will see and we'll deal with that when it's it's over. The law was adopted decades before Arizona became a state. This is NPR.